So going off the chain mail video I made recently on how to make EVA chain mail, I have come up with scale mail. Now, if you want to make this stuff, it's just as easy, if not easier, a little stronger. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how. For standard looking chain mail, look up there. I will put a link to that, and you can take a look and make your own. If you want the scale mail style just like this, I will be doing that in this video. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, leave any comments, and share this video with any of your friends. Down below you will also see a link to my Patreon page. It would be very much appreciated if you could toss me a couple of dollars for a cup of coffee to keep me going on these kinds of builds. Let's look at the computer-aided design of this stuff. Now, if this is interesting at all to you, just ask me in the comments and I can probably share the on-shape document with you so you can make your own. And if you have any designs or styles you would like to see, then leave a comment below and maybe I can help you out. I am not gonna bore you with all the specific details, but this is the chain mail that came up from the last episode. And I started riffing off of that and creating the, what I would consider a dragon scale. Problem I had with this here is, is that all these little, or this little line gap here was not something I wanted to do. I wanted to have some overlap. And I was trying to make sure that I always had like a little gap there. So what I ended up doing was, is I created a style where the sort of the scale itself came off to the one side if you flip this over you would get the other shape and you could stack these in now this looks pretty cool but it just didn't have that look i wanted it occurred to me a little later it occurred to me a little later when i created a different style or different shape of dragon scale that i really didn't necessarily need this gap to make everything work so i created a couple different versions of that and it allows you to do the alternating scale pattern that everybody knows and likes. You can see here that suddenly I don't have that gap in there, but it still assembles just as easy. So there's a very good chance I'm going to change the design of this so that there's no gap, but we can still have all of this. The other advantage to something like this, though, is, is that with these little holes that happen to show up, it allows you to ventilate whatever costume or jacket or shirt that you have so that it feels much more comfortable. Links to the files will be down below. It will be in Thingiverse. You will have your DXF, your SVG, your AI, and if there's any other formats, please let me know. I will add them to the Thingiverse file and you will be able to download them and use them. Now let's just toss this thing into our handy dandy laser cutter. I've been asked several times, do I need a laser cutter for this? And the answer is no, you don't actually. Uh, you can use a Cricut cutter or the knife cutters, a plotter. Some of these things work quite well. Here, let me show you. I put this on Instructables recently and there is one person who experimented and has some results with pictures so you can see. So I've loaded it up here. Let's scroll down and see the comments that we got. The first attempt was done with a deep point blade, the second with a knife blade, both done on a standard grip mat with a sticky piece of vinyl, sticky side up, placed between the mat and the foam for stability. The results weren't perfect, but as good as I expected. So let's just take a look. You can see the first one obviously didn't work. The second one, this looks like a pretty darn clean cut. So that is definitely usable and I'm sure you'd be able to implement this with the scale mail or the chain mail. I'd also like to say thank you to InDeepNet <laughs> uh, for actually doing this and sending me some pictures of what has happened so that we can all take a look and figure out if this is something that we can all do. Keep in mind too is that you don't necessarily have to have a laser, you just need access to the laser. Now you can find lasers at Makerspaces and you'll probably find one local to you and you can go in and they will help you cut stuff like this out. And now for the build montage. This is going to be put together exactly the same as my last video. Basically you just pop the loops through each other. Make sure to alternate from one style of line to the second style of line.
heat it up and you will notice that it shrinks a little bit and you will get everything to fit together nice and neat. The next pieces, if you have not pre-shrunk them, will fit in, but again, you're gonna get that little bow happening. It takes a little bit of fiddling, this one a little more than a chain mail, but you know, in the end, given the look, um, I have zero problems doing this because this stuff looks and feels so cool. But that's what I've got for you today. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, share this video with anybody you think would like it. And again, my Patreon page is down below. You will also find the links to all the files that you need in the links below. And the chainmail video will be up here so that you could take a look at it. It is just as interesting and it's just as simple. Hopefully you've liked this and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.